I was in the middle of sewing and I was getting so frustrated. I'm in here playing around with some scraps. So I had this striped denim and some white denim and I just decided to cut several pieces and then I serged them together to get this one big piece. And I think I'm going to make a shirt out of this. So this will be the front of the shirt that I'm gonna make. I have enough solid white, so I'm gonna make the back of the shirt white. So <laughs> I'm having fun in here with these scraps. So we'll see how this turns out. I also had some navy denim scraps, so I did cut some of the pieces out in this navy also. The pattern that I'm using is Butterick 6296, and I'm making this view over here, which is view A with the short sleeves. Here are the two front pieces attached to the back. So the back is all white, and then this is how the front is looking so far. The front left does have this selvaged edge peeking out. I did search two pieces together and I caught some of that selvaged edge and it's showing on the other side, but I'm okay with it. I had to do one sleeve band in striped fabric and the other sleeve band is in this navy fabric. I have the collar on and I'm almost done. I have the top done, but I actually need buttons for it. So I'm at Walmart to see what kind of buttons they have. And I'm thinking I want silver or maybe navy. They don't have any silver buttons or any navy buttons. So I'm gonna have to keep shopping around. I came to Walmart because I needed to pick up a few grocery items, but later on I think I'll either stop by Hobby Lobby or Joanne Barracks. I didn't find any buttons at Hobby Lobby, but I did pick up three new look patterns for 99 cent. The first one is 6724, which is a cute top. It has big pockets in the front, has a pleat in the back. I think that's really cute. Next is 6546, and then the last one is 6914, which to me is a really cute vest pattern it has many different views on different vests that you can make so thought that was really cute I can really see like view E made up in denim I think that would be just so so cute I decided to go to a different Hobby Lobby and I found some buttons I'm so excited I decided to come outside to take a break because I was in the middle of sewing and I was getting so frustrated. So I am making a dress. So it is Vogue 1674 and I decided to use the skirt from McCall's 8138. I just lined the skirt pieces together and then just traced around the skirt that I wanted, the wider skirt and then cut everything out. So that part was fine. I've made this Vogue before 
and I think I was getting ahead of myself and I ended up stitching the front and the back together wrong it is lined the bodice is lined and the sleeves are lined by the way but I was just working on the bodice I searched the bodice to the skirt and then when I got ready to apply the lining I realized that I had stitched the front and the back together incorrectly I was like oh my goodness now I have to unpick all these searched threads so I did that then I stitched the front and the back together right and when I got ready to move forward things weren't looking right and I was like what is going on I kept holding it up and picking and unpicking turning it inside out flipping it over I was like so frustrated I was like what did I do wrong and it turns out that I had not stitched the shoulder seam which made all the difference in the world so I was like you know what <laughs> I need a break I'm going to go sit outside take me a little break and come back to this project later it's a new day I feel much better today here is the dress oh it's kind of bright here's the dress and what I've done so far and I'll probably come in here and start working on this sometime today what I need to do next is put some elastic around the neckline I am headed out the door I'm on my way to go volunteer I try to volunteer one day a week and I'm wearing these knit pants with this top I've shared this before I love this outfit it's just very very comfortable I finally got the dress done. The only other change I made was not adding the invisible zipper to the side of the dress. I am about to make some salsa. I make salsa a lot because I love it. So I just came back from the store and I did also get my first order from Wild Whack. I hope I'm saying that right. I have picked up their catalog before. I had them send me a catalog, but this was my first time actually buying some real products. So here's my box. I didn't get very much. It's just a little box, but I'm gonna share with you the things that I picked up. This lady that I volunteer with, she told me to put oregano in my salsa. I was like, oregano? Okay, I'll try it. So there's the little oregano sprinkled over there. So we'll see. And this is just taco seasoning. So I just sprinkle it in on top of my hot peppers. I always put extra peppers and extra garlic. Okay, so here's the final result. And I just put it in this plastic tub so that I can keep it in the refrigerator with a lid. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I haven't eaten all day. Let me see. Oh. I didn't put a whole lot of oregano but I kind of feel like I might taste it a little bit and it's super spicy oh it's kind of killing me but in a good way I don't know why but I love that hot and spicy and the hotter the better I actually picked up four rolls of wash away tape I thought it was only three I needed some white thread and some off-white thread so that's why I picked these up here are the pinking shears I've never used this brand before, so. Oh yes, I have Kai, K-A-I. Yes, I do have a pair of their other scissors. They're pretty good. And then these are the needles. And then this is the interfacing. 